So hello everybody, Bitwig Studio 5.2.5 is out and this is the so-called preview version and it's normally not that worth mentioning or doing a video about such a minor update but this version brings quite some nice usability improvements so I think this is a version everybody should get and Polarity already did a video where he shows this fix for or improvement for the pop-up browser as well as all the different options you have for importing audio files if you want to stretch or not so I will not look at that and being more the kind of MIDI controller guy I wanted to show you what's new for MIDI controllers and this is quite helpful especially for new users so let's fire up Bitwig and what we will see what comes up now is a notification there are multiple MIDI inputs which are not connected so you get the option to click this button which will bring you straight to the settings dialog and oh my I can add a lot of additional inputs here so but don't worry this will not annoy you this will only happen once so if you have something new a new interface you can pretty easily add here the input simply click here the button and then you will have a controller script added for that this is here a look at my linux system which i'm also running and there i had only one input and this shows also this new input and there you get the option directly to create such a generic input controller script so quite a bit of improvement for the workflow but you can do this also from another place if you go here to the inputs which is the logical place to look first also to create new inputs but this was not possible so far but here is now a new option to add MIDI controller and then you get a list of possible inputs available inputs which you can add straight away so let's just maybe pick one and we'll see what happens you get now this new controller input let's go here first and you see um, this is basically the old script but it has now also another new option that you will get access to all the different MIDI channels so if you go back here we see this new input and you see you can choose now to receive all channels or the individual 16 ones so also improvement to the script so this is pretty easy to get a default controller going on your setup and another thing that made me really happy is here we have a controller extension API improved documentation and this fixes an issue which I was bugging Bitwig about for quite some time because the history of API changes was broken and now if you open here this page you will start here with the overview page you can find this here in your Bitwig installation directory resources doc control service API index HTML you can open this file in your browser and there you see the API this is not new but now we get a working new option here and there you see all the changes from the different API versions it's a bit of a hassle if you're looking for a specific one that you have to uncheck all of them first but nevertheless at least you have the info now so you can for example check out now what's in API version 19 which got introduced in Bitwig 5 to 2 and this is really helpful to easier get an understanding what actually has changed in the update thanks a lot for that and besides that there's also some noteworthy fixes here so i think this version is really a nice improvement and you should be make sure to install it so much for today with this little update info and until next time make some funky